Hey, welcome to the next channel. So yesterday I uh, shot a video episode on IP header compression and also this is one of the FAQs often I do get um, uh, from various uh, users uh, and they ask whether uh, it's been uh, supported in that office. So today I thought uh, let me do a small follow up although it is not uh, something related to that in this episode I'm going to discuss more about uh, how uh, the Toffee uh, uh, builds and uh, sends optimized packets but having said that this is a sort of follow-up because yesterday the same thing I have explained with uh, these uh, you know uh, lego bricks as you can see here a stack of lego bricks and i try to explain the same but in this episode what i'm uh, did it's uh, i have done a small uh, java applet uh, from scratch so that i can use it as a sort of a very quick makeshift animation and then i can show uh, the way uh, you know the packets are uh, optimized in Toffee at the same time uh, in different situations how it happens overall inside the Toffee. So as you can see here uh, this is the applet uh, which I did uh, in uh, Java. It's quite interesting because uh, I thought uh, doing something in a slideshow and uh, you know doing something like this in a slideshow is just cumbersome you need to just you know uh, synchronize and you need to do each and every animation uh, slide manually rather than that it can be something uh, coded and i did various uh, uh, components like uh, small units like uh, as you can see here uh, uh, toffee devices and uh, stuff like that with that uh, i can just uh, do uh, uh, get everything dynamically so it's quite interesting so this is the source code <laughs> which i wrote so anyway let us just hop on to the same so what i did is uh, i have uh, uh, as you can see here uh, there are uh, two uh, toffee devices and assume let's assume uh, uh, both the van uh, ports are connected through a real uh, van network so uh, and then uh, you have two uh, lan network you have a site a and site b and uh, both of them are uh, geographically you know uh, separated uh, uh, with respect to each other's uh, position so if you see here, uh, let's represent uh, this uh, uh, bar uh, like uh, ne typical network packet. You can see the shading, the gray shade is uh, data link layer and you have this uh, IPv4 header and then uh, transport header. <coughs> it can be a TCP header or UDP header or ACTP, let it be anything. And then followed by which it's a payload. So what I can do is I can just uh, walk through the slides so that you can get that animated effect of how the packet gets optimized so if i just animate the same you can see here each iteration uh, the packet is going to the lan port and uh, this is how uh, you know the lan port uh, packets will get into the toffee data center uh, devices or toffee devices so it goes to the lan port and then it gets optimized so you can see here in this next iteration it gets optimized as i said yesterday's uh, video uh, its ipv4 header is going to be in intact although i'm going to uh, you know as uh, to an extent i edit the ipv4 uh, header so that uh, it is still compliant and it gets forwarded uh, with all those intermediate uh, routing hops so this is what it happens so essentially what you got is an optimized packet out of you know this particular packet you can see here this is the previous slide uh, in this case it is uh, the original packet a typical ipv4 packet let's assume it is a T tcp packet or udp packet with some payload so yellow bar represents the payload of you know the entire packet if you think about uh, TCP ACK packets, it may not have any payload and in that situation Toffee does something else. So let's not get into all the cases. Let's just, you know, uh, cover the overall situation here. So this is a typical packet. It goes here. So once it comes out of the WAN port, it gets optimized. So it comes to the remote uh, uh, Toffee device uh, through your uh, van networks and then again what is going to happen is in the other iteration it is going to create the original packet and this is how it processes the discrete packets so this way it is well suited for long distance communication and satellite links and the space networks and stuff like that this is the reason i say that it's well suited for such kind of very generic application this is not like any uh, van op solution what you typically find it because they say about uh, 
proxy caching and other stuff the big problem is you cannot cache everything you if you have live streaming data how can you cache a live streaming data if you have something like a, a, a real skype wipe data how do you cache something like that so this is why you need a solution to handle discrete packets so this is what is the main usp of toffee itself so the packet will come out and then it will go to that remote van network so this happens uh, to and fro and then you get you know you can get the idea so this is what it is so packets coming from site b to site a and site a to site b this is what essentially happens so let's hop on to another situation let's assume you have two packets so just uh, each of these packets are uh, quite next to each other so which means uh, the interframe gap or IGP of this packet is just next to each other just you know there is one packet and immediately there is another packet so these two packets can be uh, like we can assume the first packet over here is HTTP packet and followed by which you have some uh, DNS uh, packet or UDP uh, DNS packet or some kind of uh, RTP uh, packet VoIP packet or something like that let's assume a scenario like this just both of them are coming next to each other since the Toffee data center and not Toffee supports packaging feature, so in this situation what happens is if I do an iteration, it comes here and both will get optimized and then both will also get merged together or gets packaged into a single packet. So in this situation it gets optimized this way. So if I iterate the same what happens is you will get uh, the effect like what you've seen before but it will be little different. So let us uh, iterate the same. So if I iterate the same you can see here it is coming to the remote uh, Toffee device and then the moment it uh, reaches the Toffee device it will uh, recreate uh, the original packet in the same sequence it never changes the incoming sequence. So this way you can see here it has just you know flipped. So essentially it will try to create in the same sequence and then it will be uh, reaching towards the remote end uh, uh, you know LAN uh, subnets or LAN network. So if you notice uh, you have uh, uh, this uh, you know even before the sequence starts uh, let us uh, just go back if you notice you have uh, a large packet which is coming first and then a small packet which is behind the same. So if you just iterate the same uh, what will happen is. Uh, it will go to the uh, Toffee data center, uh, Toffee DC device and then it will get optimized and then it will uh, recreate the same packets once again and then it will uh, recreate them in the same order. So this is what essentially happens. So this is with the packaging feature. Again packaging feature cannot guarantee this is something happening all the time. It all depends on uh, how is your I IGP or interframe gap. Uh, uh, I'm sorry IFG it is uh, interframe gap it all depends on how each of these frame are coming next to each other in case there is a lot of distance then this will never happen it will happen something like uh, the scenario which I just explained earlier so you may have uh, one is to one optimized packets like this let me just yeah I tried the old one uh, uh, this is the earlier scenario so you will get one is to one you know packet optimization you cannot get uh, you know guaranteed you know packaging uh, all the time and also sometimes if the packet size is huge it may not optimize uh, at all it may just send it as it is so this is what essentially happens so this is what i tried explaining in uh, many of my uh, videos uh, with uh, lego bricks uh, but i thought it is more uh, interesting to observe this phenomena in a sort of you know graphics uh, graphical representation like this so that uh, uh, this sort of animation is much more uh, clearer to understand what exactly it happens and uh, uh, and also uh, it will allow you to uh, you know uh, understand toffee and then uh, deploy it in your uh, uh, existing uh, you know critical van links so uh, before I wrap up, uh, let me just iterate the same so that you can get the full picture. Let me just iterate the same in a much faster uh, mode. So this is uh, a situation where you are getting a packet and it is near empty or something like that and there is no uh, packet next to it or just uh, assume you are getting another packet of the same size. So in this case, if you iterate the same, it goes there and it gets optimized and it will be sent across to the remote uh, a toffee uh, device connected LAN networks and you have another situation where you have uh, 
incoming uh, frames or packets which are quite next to each other but these frames are quite uh, you know uh, already small in size as well in terms of its uh, total uh, mtu versus the size of this uh, packets or frames so in this situation as it gets into the topic data center device uh, they get merged into a single packet since all these packets are destined to the same uh, wan network we can just merge all of them together and then we can just send them as a bundle so in this situation it goes like this and then it again uh, recreates these packets and sends it uh, across uh, the remote uh, uh, connected uh, uh, lan networks to that remote uh, toffee data center device so this is what it is so hope you guys loved watching this video in case if you have any further questions uh, stay in touch and of course i do handle such discussions uh, as a part of my paid support and other paid consultation uh, but again i thought this is something interesting uh, to share so that uh, it is uh, uh, it is uh, a good uh, study as a part of generic uh, uh, van opt research Uh, which i do in general it's just not about toffee i do study about uh, other existing van opt solution i i do study about existing patents and other stuff it's just uh, it's a just a creative field since i do work on open source solution it's not something like you have a ready to use commercial or something it's just it's just not like that we can do any variations and we can do any sort of you know creative stuff into that based on each unique use case what you guys have at your uh, you know disposal at your existing infrastructure of your home or uh, you know data center networks so hope you guys loved watching this video stay tuned be in touch in mail thank you have a nice day bye bye